for the first time ever, UNICEF may have to step in to help feed Britain's poor. Imagine that, airdropping food parcels of Dairy Lee and Bovril to the council estates of the sixth largest economy on the planet, whilst a supremely entitled multi-millionaire... <laughs> To begin to understand the theory behind this, you must first realize that the human body is not really very efficient. When ingesting heavy foods, only about 20% of the nutrients are absorbed by the alimentary passageway, while the other 80% finds itself expelled in post-consumer byproducts. Already 20 years ago, NASA scientists began to tap into this nutritional gold mine by developing filters that could transform their astronauts' waste into healthy, hygienic and even delicious food once again. With the use of this technology, a single hamburger, for example, can be eaten more than 10 times, providing a cumulative total of three times the nutritional value of the original fresh hamburger. Suddenly decided his was the most attended inauguration in history, even though it wasn't. That particular line was a statement of intent, and the statement was, we are going to lie to you. We're going to lie to your face and punish anyone who calls it a lie. The statement was, the truth no longer matters. Reality is negotiable. Get it? Signals communicating the exact amount and quality of physical work are transmitted not only visually right here, but directly through electric channels implanted directly into the manager. Confucius say, man, you better duck out. Uh, the workers, for their part, are fitted with corresponding transmitting chips uh, that are, are implanted humanely directly into the shoulder. We've been mired for a while in a kind of language trap uh, at the Democratic Party, where we've been using more and more words to explain less and less. Um, we're coming out of that because we're actually uh, achieving some substance here. Clinton, a candidate who's been cozying up to the banks and dry humping corporations for years, who is on record telling her corporate friends that you should have a public and a private persona. In other words, don't tell the truth to the plebs or you won't be able to rip them off. She'll do. That was the feeling. It's not a competition, Tim. Black Lives Matter is not a competition to see who can be the most affected by the issues surrounding black people. It's not about who's the most woke. It's not about white people demonstrating their bravery by having a good cry about their white privilege. Because doing that makes it about you. Hillary Clinton, don't get me wrong, I wanted Hillary to win. I'd personally vote for Lucifer over Donald Trump. Trump finally said that no true supporter of his would ever resort to violence. Difficult to swallow, seeing as most of them were waving flags with your name on them, covered head to toe in MAGA merchandise. Is it great again yet? Thank you very much. Oh.